Welcome to the Drake Escape. Now, if you've seen the news over recent weeks, you've probably seen several quite high profile business failures. I mean, we've had Maplin's, Toys R Us in retail, various restaurant chains closing branches, including Byron Burger, Prezzo, Chimichanga, Jamie's Italian, Carluccio's. And the obvious commentary is that it's a downturn in consumer confidence, it's the decline in leasing out and so forth. But that's not actually the case. The reality is that those markets are as strong as they've ever been. And the reason that people aren't going to those places anymore is because they found far better places to go. Take Toys R Us. They opened their first UK stores in 1985. And this was way before the internet. It was just at the start of the, the big box stores and edge of town retail boom. And people lapped it up. They loved these big store, empor store emporiums opening up on the edges of their town. But after that, Toys R Us stopped. They stopped evolving, they stopped investing in people, in ideas. And if, like me, you were unfortunate enough to have to go to Toys R Us any time in the last five or ten years, you would have found yourself walking around these huge warehouses with cluttered shelves, with no staff, with no advice, and you'd have probably found yourself, particularly the busy times like Christmas, queuing for maybe 15 minutes just to give your money to somebody who looked like they would rather be anywhere else. And considering the, the dozens of alternatives, online and offline, to buy almost everything that they sold, I'm amazed that they last as long as they did. And the similar case in Byron. When Byron first opened Byron Burgers, people flocked to them because they were a class apart from the likes of McDonald's and Burger King. But, but 10 years later, Byron haven't evolved at all. If anything, they've just cost-engineered half the quality out of their products in order to pay the big rents that they're now having to pay. And there are so many competitors out there that have taken burgers far beyond where Byron were. And all of the people that came to them originally for quality, for novelty, they were the first to leave and to go elsewhere. Every proposition has a natural lifespan. And if you're not ready to launch something faster, something better, something smarter, something more exciting for your customers before yours goes stale, then don't be surprised if the next generation in your market comes through and takes over your share. So have a look at your proposition right now. Do you know what the next generation of that should look like? And are you getting ready to launch that yourselves? Because if not, somebody else probably will.